you know, I've got I've got a file of of uh, ten blocks that was that was raided and and it and uh, it has uh, uh, if we if we look at the the raid blocks the parity blocks sorry um, it's got some it's got six parity blocks right so uh, 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 we could look at the locations and just see whether the so they still haven't been, it's been there for quite some time. I'm not sure, sometimes the placement monitor seems to do something with the parity blocks, sometimes it doesn't. I'll have to check that a bit more. So the, the uh, the, you know, the, the parameters, where I, I've already set them, right? So I copied another block across, another file. I copied across our uh, test2.txt file and and rated that um, as well. Test two. Now that was a, like a 1.6 gigabyte file, right? So that actually has quite a few more blocks. It's got 25 blocks in it, rather than just 10. 10 we use just for illustration purposes because it's the exact number that fits with the code. So the question maybe you could ask is how many parity blocks will this create now? Can you answer that? Well, so oh, not guess, but work it out. Yeah, there's 25 data blocks in this data file. How does, how does, how does this? It's a it's the Zorbus LRC code. So can you each come up with a number and then we'll 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 see how many of you have learnt something from the course. We've got twenty-five blocks now. It's it's a Zorbus LRC, it's something you've you've learned about. Maybe your day I can put on the board the Zorbus LRC example or, or something. Zorbus LRC. You got uh, five local nodes and one parity for that, another five and four parity, right? So ten, ten, and these are two additional parities that I have. So total is it's actually uh, n n is um, sixteen plus ten, right? Okay. So what do you expect for 25 blocks? For 20, so now the, the, the 25 bucks, yeah? You can each write down a number. <laughs> so for every 10 blocks, you got 6 more blocks for parity. Okay, so 10, 6 parity, 10, 6 parity. So totally how much you should have? 15. 15, uh, 6, uh, oh, you're saying 6, 6, 12, plus 3, 15. So 15 is one guess. Any, is, the next is there anybody else with a number? Now you think about how Zorbas can actually uh, do the parity blocks. So there should be 5 uh, local parity? Yeah, no, not for the local parity is only two, but it's a global four parity. So for every ten you have a four. That's what the RSC is. For every ten blocks you have four uh, parity blocks. So each one five is always multiple of six forty MB. So who, who agrees with 15? Who else is going to say there's 15 blocks? 15 parity blocks. Could be right. <laughs> I mean, but, you know, who's willing to, to back him up and say, yep, that's, it's 15, definitely. Anybody else? <laughs> or is he on his own <laughs> with, that, with that calculation?
every term there will be, you know, how is the RS parity checks are calculated? We should have had an exam for this subject. It, it would have. <laughs> Pardon? Every time there are four parities, two double parities, and four RS parities. Yeah, but, but think about RS parities involve all ten data nodes. So, how that can be computed? Because it's, it's, it's each one is a block. One block is 64 MB. So, you have a parity of 64 MB long. That makes that is a function of ten other sixty four MB blocks. So if if, if another question would be if if your file is five block long like in a four, uh, three, six forty divided by two three twenty three twenty MB. How can RS score does it? That if you think that then you get an answer. Eighteen? Eighteen, right? So we've got eighteen as another. <laughs> so we've got fifteen. We've got eighteen. Does anybody agree with eighteen? So the remaining sixty-four bits. My, I mean, argument is that the remaining sixty-four MBs uh, can all be filled with zeros. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can be is, is okay, but you know, for example, you think of in what other ways it, it, the system could have done. So if you have that, that's all the data data blocks. Right? Twenty five blocks. That's 25 that's blocks. the blocks. Okay. The last one is a, a little bit shorter as a block, but it's mm -hmm. still a block. It's uh, yeah. so we've got two two two, 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 two possibilities. Box, yeah. Does anybody else agree with eighteen? Is the number of parity blocks that we generate here? Nobody. Nobody agrees. Again, he's on his own. <laughs> nobody wants to. Uh, nobody wants to be wrong. Is that the? <laughs> Everybody wants to be right. Nobody wants to be wrong. I don't know. I mean, this is one of the codes you guys were talking about, yeah. right? So, so, yeah. so look at think of it. It's, it's you know, it's a single strip. A stripe is a form of a single row, and each row is a block. Uh, sorry, each uh, symbol is a block. So how else you can uh, have parity blocks? When I mean, you need parities are generated out of ten. Just like a lost block is not full, it will be still considered as a full block. So you go with eighteen. So. So you're changing your fifteen to eighteen now. Right? So, so somehow you guys know something now. Is that what? They say great minds think alike. Is that all right? Is there any other great minds? So who is it? Are you all starting to maybe agree or on eighteen? Since there's two people saying eighteen now, you think it's it's much more probably the answer. Is that it? Could it could be? So we'll have a look where I can keep you. Let's see what, oh, what's happened? My internet's kind of died. I can't show you. <laughs> I'll have to log back in. Let's see. Uh, the internet has gone Yeah, let's let me see if, uh, if any of this stuff works. Uh, no, all right, so, so I'm going to uh, just, uh, oh, I forgot to say here. Uh, but maybe I'll do this. Go yeah, back. So now these. Oh, not known. Okay. So the internet's back up, but I don't think the terminal has survived. So I will just kill that. Uh, we'll. Uh, Uh, so this was the test, this was the 640 uh, megabyte one, and 
with 10 blocks it had six parity blocks. So let's have a look at the what was it called? Test two, I think. So this one has 18 parity blocks. So 18 is the right number to in so this case. You, you, it can't, in a system, can't do a fraction of it. So that's, that's the that, uh, of this big data, you know. You, you, the files are there. Files are simply, um, whatever it is, it's all be multiple of 640. It cannot be a uh, fraction of it. But, you know, you could, you know, this, how uh, in, 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 uh, the blocks within that, his handle, that is left to the, you know, uh, the Hadoop program. So if map reduce, automatically you could take it. But as a rating thing, it has to happen as a multiple 640. The same way, you know, I was actually telling somebody that in Google, that way, it uses, uh, um, well, you know, uh, file, when, when, it, when it starts a file, for example, you may use uh, the Google application Google or Microsoft, sorry, Microsoft application, Microsoft application, so you have some file to be sent to someone else. So when a file is created in a, on a cloud, it will have a, probably a, 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 some unique number, uh, idea, and it always comes in append only thing. So whatever new files, you know, something created, it can still keep on creating appending. Once it becomes one GB side, then it will be uh, stored with the erasure code. Till that time, it will be kept with triple replication. So, for example, you might have used, you might be using in some Windows applications. You open something and you keep on uh, making some changes to it, and, and it will grow. So, you know, obviously there will be a previous version, version previous, and so forth. So, the so data corresponding to your file keep growing. So, they have a, a strategy called append only things, and that's where once it becomes a particular big size it will be erase, erasure code and write it. And that's where uh, the, uh, you know, uh, so all the limitations, you know, come, constraints come from that point. So erasure coded uh, is only after one GB. Till that time, it is just simply uh, triple replicated. So the same idea here with this here, here 640 MB. Uh, then only when, um, um, once it, up to, up to 640 MB, it will keep growing. And the you know corresponding parity blocks can be automatically generated, yeah? so it will be initially zero, and so you can you only need to kind of update that one and what kind of. A I, I don't know what I can kill and what yeah. I can't kill, huh. uh, hmm. so I'm just killing something. Hmm. How many can I kill? So. This one with with a SOR bus now it can take any four node maximum four nodes. Any four? Any four any it can four do. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know re recovering from a one node will be faster. Four nodes. So the same sort of thing will happen, I guess. It will eventually find a successive one. Did any, how, how many of you uh, went a bit further than yesterday and, and got Hadoop working so far? So some of you have got it working already, I know. Did, did some of you get it working yesterday after we finished, or you abandoned it? So pulled out some hair and thought, no, it's too much. Uh, 
it's still missing. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it, it will take a little while, I guess. And also, it's now a bigger file. Well, it's bigger, yeah, but it's spread over more nodes. More so, nodes. Yeah. You know, there can be more in parallel happening as well, I should think. Um. Now, at least, it's kind of like. Actually, it's got five, five missing. Did I kill five nodes? Uh. Oh. Maybe what happened was uh, one of the IP addresses had more than one block on it. Right? Mm -hmm. So I might have ended up killing more than one block because one, you know, it, it, uh, it might have been that that was on the same node. So, so maybe yeah. it won't recover. It won't recover, sir. So. <laughs> so what will it do? I'm not sure here. So, so it, it, it may become a uh, fail you know, perpetually. Maybe you get an example for that. <laughs> 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 See, what happens is, usually if the, there is a, there's a placement monitor, that will be keep looking at it. If more than two nodes happening in, in a particular node, it will try to place it separately. But uh, we have only have 25 nodes, right? We only have 25 nodes? We've, well, there's 45 nodes in the cluster. 45. So, so 25 plus 18. So, the, you know, the, it may take more time to actually balance it because it follows. Uh, so, tuning of those op operations will be really useful. Like, uh, you, know, you know, if you if you actually get some more control from the software uh, and work on those things, then the placement uh, problems will be much more easy, you know, kind of thing. But I only killed four because I can see it's got 41 live nodes. So it had 45 to start with, so I only killed four, but uh, it looks like it's, it's repaired something up there. Mm -hmm. So maybe it will recover. Can it, so it can do any four, but can it recover from more than... Uh, again, because now we are having is more than one uh, Swarbus code, right? Mm. So for every 10, there are six extra things. So it depends on which block, uh, which node it has there. So it, I think it should be able, because in this case, five is out of uh, two strips, no, two stripes. Two or three, three stripes. So the, they're independent ones. So I think it should be able to recover, but it might take a bit more time. Replicated something three times three. now. So that first one has been replicated around. And ah, OK. So and now it's recovered a little bit more. It looks like it's going to make it. It's <laughs> so three is now only three missing now. So for that, then anyway, this code cannot help. So you need, you need a bigger code. Yeah. But I basically yeah. just pick randomly there. Mm. And, and, yeah. So is that, uh, I think now the, uh, uh, the issues in Hadoop, is it clear now? So at least, uh, you know, how co er erasure coding is, is performed?